So welcome to our lesson on the elementary canal using this particular animation. So the elementary canal is a highly specialized set of organs in humans where food molecules are converted to a usable form for respiration, for example, if it's glucose, in a very clear sequence of organs, with each part of the system being adapted to carry out a particular function. So this animation essentially gives a layout of the elementary canal and we're going to go through individually into the organs and see how each part works. So the first part which we can't see in the animation is the mouth and the salivary glands. So in the mouth and salivary glands what happens is that food enters the elementary canal via the mouth and is converted to a bolus of food. So a bolus essentially is a sphere of food which is easier to digest, known as a bolus. And it's produced by the teeth working together by physically breaking down the food, the tongue and also saliva during a process known as mastication, allowing it to be swallowed. Also assisting in this process is the salivary glands, which we have three pairs of in our mouths. And they produce saliva, which pour into the mouth through the salivary ducts and also contain an enzyme known as amylase, which breaks down starch. So if we continue on, we then look at this particular organ here known as the esophagus, still with ingestion happening. And it's a muscular tube which helps uh, food move in form of this bolus down to the stomach by peristalsis. So what peristalsis is, in essence, is the contraction and expansion of these muscles here. And by contracting and expanding, it pushes the bolus down into the stomach, in essence, allowing it to move further down the elementary canal. So now we are in the stomach, this organ right here, which you're probably very familiar with. And in the stomach, it's a muscular bag which stores food for a short time, about an hour to an hour and a half, and mixes food with acidic digestive juices to form a creamy liquid called chyme. And it's this chyme which continues its journey down in through the element, rest of the elementary canal. So I'm just going to zoom in slightly with the animation to get a closer look. Okay, let's delete that little bit there. Okay, so now we're moving into the small intestine, this part here, which is called the duodenum. Okay, known as the duodenum. Duodenum. So the, the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine and it's where semi-liquid food is mixed with pancreatic juices to further break down proteins and also bile which is a green liquid created by the gallbladder which is further back here and it breaks down fats. Okay, So fats are broken down by bile. So that's the first part of the small intestine, known as the duodenum. So continuing on our journey, just delete that part there, continuing on our journey, we then enter the, what's known as the ileum. Okay, so this, all this part here is known as the ileum. And what the ileum does is it's the longest part of the small intestine, as you can see from the animation and it is where food is di the digestive food is absorbed into the blood and the lymphatic system so it's where most of the the proteins and the amino acids and the sugar is absorbed into the bloodstream and we're going to look at that in more detail as our lessons continue okay so that's the ileum so the next one you've got the small intestine and the next one looking at, of course, is this one here. This is known as the large intestine. And the large intestine is wider than the small intestine. And the colon, okay, this is known as the colon, is the part of the large intestine which reabsorbs water from the gut contents and also absorbs the minerals and vitamins that are left in the digested food. So we're just going to delete all of that and go back one step 
and just spinning around here, just stopping here and zooming out a bit. And here we have the final part of the story, the rectum here. Okay, so in the rectum, it's where we store the feces and it's where defecation, uh, we store the feces, we're expelling them from a convenient time. So that's where we store our feces. We can eventually, if I can just zoom in, oh, zoom back a bit. Damn. There we go. Where it can be then expelled by the anus. Okay, it's the exit point for the feces. And where defecation is controlled by two anal sphincter muscles, okay, contracting and expanding. And that's pretty much it. So if you've had constipation, it's just not enough fibre in the diet, so the faeces becomes too dry, so it's very hard to pass through the rectum. Whereas in diarrhoea, it of course is the opposite. And that's pretty much the elementary canal, basically, in a nutshell. There are other organs, like the, the gallbladder and the pancreas, which we'll discuss in more detail in class. But that, in essence, is the elementary canal.